at Woodbury, you are in your own little sphere, but it's a wonderful sphere. <laughs> and it's just quiet, everything is nice. You have all these amazing views and it's just kind of homey and calming, you know, a sense of, I guess, humility when you're on this campus. You just feel as if everybody is kind of together. Uh, my favorite thing about Woodbury is probably the teacher and student relationship. It's very close. I, I went to a private school beforehand, so I still had smaller classes. You got to know your teachers well, but it's nothing like at Woodbury. So you have the advisor system, and the teachers, I believe, is, most of them live on campus, and if they don't, they live five minutes away. And you're with them, they're required to coach sports, they're always there for consultations, they're on your dorms at night, you see them constantly. Uh, you eat dinner with them, you rotate meals, and you just get to know them so well. I also uh, got to know teachers on a personal basis, where at my public school, I was just like, hi, missus, and that's it. I decided to come to Woodbury's campus as a prospective student, simply because I was taken away with the beauty the residents, I mean, the academic buildings, the facilities, they're, they're second to none. Woodbury has about 1,200 acres of land in the middle of rural Virginia. One of the things about Woodbury that I absolutely love is just that we have this land with the river running through it that's accessible. We can hunt on it, we can run on it, we can swim in the river, we can fish in the river, and you can always find a quiet spot. I'll never forget when I, when I came to Woodbury my first year, I was I was a little tentative, I was nervous, and my advisor really comforted me. I'll never forget this story when he came to my door, it was probably the second or third day of school, and we talked for about five or ten minutes about how everything was going at Woodbury, and he actually counted out the steps from my door to his, and it was ten. There's always help, always help for you, and you know, you should never feel afraid or scared of the older guys because they're just here to help you. That's their job. They're mentoring you. To be honest, it was a little, uh, made me a little homesick at first, but uh, really once you get on dorm and you start meeting all your new friends and you really get to know them, you start to forget what it's like being so far away from home and you, you know, this really becomes your home and the kids you live with become your family and you guys get so, they get to know each other so well and stuff and it's a really great place. The friends you get to meet, and the relationships you make by the end of your senior year going from freshman year. I mean, I, all of us are brothers now. We didn't, we barely knew each other the first year. And that's just the main thing. I was so excited to get here this year just to see my friends and see my, see my bros. And I can't wait to graduate in May with them. And that's, that's probably my favorite thing. I just liked, you know, the kind of overwhelming feel of the, the hominess. It was all the people were really welcoming. You know, I just felt like I could thrive in this kind of environment. From academics, to athletics, to the arts. You do have a lot of freedom, like such as free time and all those study periods, but it's very important to balance everything out and manage your time efficiently while uh, at Woodbury since you do a lot of things such as you know, academics, sports life, extracurricular activities. The arts at Woodbury um, it's just amazing. We have an awesome facility. The Walker Center is great. We've got a state-of-the-art proscenium theater, and then we have a black box theater, which is really cool, too. That's my favorite, actually, just because it's so up close and personal. My favorite part about football practice is we, we head down the hill together, we, we listen to music, we go over our plays, and it's a very, very loving environment, really. I mean, we don't, our coaches never ever pull us out of a game because we messed up or anything like that. In the winter basketball time, we usually have, we have games Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and every game, no matter what, you can expect the gym to be packed. One of my favorite quotes is, uh, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice the gift. Steve Prefontaine is a runner, so. But yeah, it's just always stay humble, always give it your hardest, and just do right, and if you set an example, then they'll follow. 